felt like forever, but it's only been 12 days since the Warrior football team wrapped up an undefeated regular season. However, the Warriors finally returned to the practice field this afternoon. KHNL News 8's Jason Tang joins us live with more from Manoa. Well, Steph, it's a wet practice field, that's for sure. But uh, it's, they started at 4 today, a little different than their normal time in the morning. But they wanted to get practice going. They, were, they haven't been out here for almost uh, two weeks, so they really wanted to get going. Now, it's their first practice since they did win against Washington in the first of the month. Now, practice did end about half an hour ago. We just got finished talking to players and coaches. They talked about how they're not really focusing on Georgia. They're just looking to get back into practice form. So we'll be sure to have more coverage and more of their sound bites tonight at uh, K K5 News at 9 and also at KHNL News 8 at 10. Now, the team flies out on Christmas on 515 in the evening. So they do have two and a half weeks to work towards that and we'll have continuing coverage throughout this week as they get set to go bowling in New Orleans. And we're gearing up to provide you with Hawaii's best and most complete coverage of the Warriors' greatest season. We have a number of specials airing right here on KHNL News 8 and our sister station K5 as we get set to go to New Orleans to cover the Sugar Bowl. And stick around, we have more live local late breaking news coming up next. The UH football team is back at practice after an 11-day rest, uh, and it, it felt pretty routine out here for the Warriors, although it is finals week, so a couple of guys came in late because they had to finish up those last-minute tests. And there was also a change to practice. Coach Jones picking up that intensity. You can take a look at the video. Aside from just the regular drills that the Warriors are used to, they went and did an extra bit of running after practice, a good 20 minutes worth. Coach Jones said afterwards the reason for it. He really is going to run his team, get them in condition. Obviously, this is the biggest game in UH history. The first time Hawaii has a BCS bowl berth headed to the Sugar Bowl where they will be playing Georgia. Also, quick to note that until Hawaii leaves on December 25th, Christmas Day, all the practices are closed to the public. No distractions. Coach Jones wants to keep the team focused. Right here joining me now live is quarterbacks coach Dan Morrison. I appreciate you being here. Being that it was raining really heavily earlier. He showered and came back. Um, Coach, you said Colt Brennan, uh, and it's, it has nothing to do with the Heisman or the perfect season or anything. He's on cloud nine right now, and the reason for that is? Well, he, uh, in the last few days, has found out that he's going to graduate on Sunday, so he's very happy about that. He feels very good about that, that he's accomplished that. That was one of his objectives, and uh, he got it done. He's going to graduate on Sunday. So. Another accomplishment, of course, that undefeated season that he turned down the NFL to come back and be a part of and hope that that's w what would come out of it. Can you talk about just now how he has developed into a pro-caliber quarterback? I think you know a lot of his skills last year were already at NFL level. I think the difference this year is that he's really matured into a leader, and he's he's been a, a spokesman for the offensive side of the ball through our meetings on the practice field, before games, at the hotels. So he, he's become a, a very outspoken, very passionate leader. I, I think he's ready to take that next step, and I know there are a lot of people waiting for him to do it. I can also tell today at practice you could get that feel that the the Warriors were practicing as champions. They're WAC champions. We have a sense of that now, just seeing how they, they've reacted. What's your sense of it as you kind of soak it all in? Well, I, I think right now, I mean, today as an indicator, their, their practice levels jumped up quite a bit. As far as the overall thing, I don't know how much we know yet. It's kind of not sunk into us yet. You know, I think when we get to New Orleans, uh, I think it'll really begin to open some kids' eyes that what a special time this is for the community and for the state, as Cole just said many times. Uh, but right now, boy, it's... It, it's a very different feel out here at practice. Personally for yourself, I mean, going through these games um, each week and, and staying undefeated, the only team in the country to be undefeated, did you guys really have a sense when it started out this is something that Hawaii could accomplish? Well, I th it was definitely a goal. And I, and I think when uh, Colt didn't go to New York last year, which I really felt he should have, uh, I think he realized or, or resigned himself that he wasn't going to go to New York. So his whole shift of goals came to 12-0 on the WAC championship, and that kind of permeated this whole program. So they, everything changed, and I think from the very beginning that was quietly inside. That was the objective, 
They believed they could do that. They worked hard at it. And, when, and where it helped was in very tight games. They truly believed they were going to win, and that's a large reason why they did. You've been here with Coach Jones from day one, so you know him very well. How about the fact that he has now closed practice? It's the first time it's ever happened that we haven't had the public here. Is, has he changed? Is he getting a little more serious? Well, I, I think some of it has to do with the cult phenomenon that's, that's kind of gone on. And, and it's uh, it, it, as much as he loves signing autographs for people, it's been really difficult. So mm -hmm. I think some of it is to kind of close things so he can get in and out of here. And I think the other thing is just to get the, the focus and the attention. When you're 11 days off, you know, it, it just kind of reminds kids that uh, we have business to do as much as it's going to be fun. Yeah. We have, uh, it's a business trip. That's right. That's right. It's the Sugar Bowl mm -hmm. on uh, New Year's Day. Coach, thanks very much for being a part of this. One quick note also for Hawaii football, uh, deal made today, and I made you aware of it. Hawaii and Colorado have now committed to a four-game series, a switch, two at home, two in Boulder. So that's great. Uh, that begins in 2010. Well, of course, I have a lot more uh, sports coming up tonight at 10. Reporting live from Manoa, back to you. All right. The success of the UH football team this season has inspired several special tributes in music. The latest release comes from Willie Kay and includes the team's human mascot. The song is titled Warriors Cry. You know, this part of our culture too, Polynesian. Polynesian love music. You know, drums, music, it's really getting everybody going. The song will be on iTunes next week and will be performed live next Wednesday and Thursday during appearances at a Waikiki concert at Hilton Hawaiian Village. Kanoa Leahy joins us now from Manoa with sports. Kanoa. It's a rainy evening here in Manoa, coming to you from the UH football practice fields where the UH Warrior football team endured some of the wet weather and underwent its first practice in preparation of the Sugar Bowl New Year's Day. We're going to hear some reaction as to what they went through here in day one of preparation for Georgia after this. Oh, this is not a rainy weather report. This is the sports report. How you doing, everybody? Let's talk sports coming to you from a rainy UH Manoa. I'm at the UH football practice fields where just a little while ago, the Warrior football team held its first practice in almost two weeks in preparation for the Sugar Bowl New Year's Day in New Orleans against Georgia. Some pictures of what we saw here earlier. The rain was off and on. You could tell the anxiousness in the players. A lot of the players arrived about a half hour before the actual start time of practice, and it officially got underway with a raucous team huddle at midfield. Now, as I mentioned, most of the players arrived early. There were some players who did not practice this evening because they were still taking care of school business, final exams. In fact, Colt Brennan, the Heisman finalist, he came out a little late because he had to finish up some work on a final exam. Most of what the team did, aside from the basic drills, was run. Conditioning a huge thing here after the long layoff, and we talked with head coach June Jones and quarterback Colt Brennan about getting back to work. It feels good to get back out here. Um... You know, we've been uh, out of it for a couple weeks now, so it feels great to get back out here. And, uh, you know, it's great with school being finally over with. They, they ran us hard today, but, you know, that's good. It's always good to push us. And, um, you know, yeah, these, these practices, it's not about, you know, getting ready for Georgia. We're not playing Georgia for a couple weeks. You know, it's just about coming out and, and getting back into practice mode and, and kind of, you know, getting all the, the kinks out from not really doing anything for the last week or so. We're, we're kind of just getting back into the role of things. We still have some players taking some tests and different things. We'll have more guys with more obligations tomorrow, but hopefully we can get uh, back into the flow of things and then get started on Monday. The next 10 days really push uh, 10 practices. We'll really run a lot and uh, then we'll taper down the week we get down there. We're just doing our stuff right now. We're not really game planning and uh, next week we'll start that and then, uh, you know, get get two solid weeks of practice basically of, of uh, you know what we need to do and we got a lull again on Christmas night we go three days there without practicing but but we'll be in pretty good shape by then the Warriors are going to hold about nine practices before departing to New Orleans. They'll leave the islands Christmas night. Now, all of those practices are going to be closed to the public, so fans and autograph seekers will not be allowed onto the field. And, of course, we'll be bringing you coverage throughout here in this preparation process for the Sugar Bowl New Year's Day against Georgia. In other sports, after nearly two years of investigating, the almost immediately infamous Mitchell report was released.